Hey everybody, in this video I'd like to just walk through the design for the Summer Rain front horn. So you can see here, it's a large format front horn. This particular design is one of three variations. This variation is for the 8 inch driver. You can use a 4 range driver or a mid range driver. So this horn will load the driver down to 200 hertz. So the overall dimensions is 22 inches by 22 inches and it's about uh, 17 inches deep in the horn plus the depth of the rear sealed chamber which is um, another 7 inches or so. So this I call the summer rain and I designed it and it's a constant directivity design which means that it's going to provide even coverage uh, 90 degree coverage from around 300 hertz up to the upper cutoff which for this horn and this throat you'd probably be looking at around 8 kilohertz before it starts to um, narrow somewhat. Okay, so um, let's get to showing you the design here. So I'm just going to section through the horn so that you can see what it looks like inside and understand the overall construction. So you can see here the horn is made out of uh, straight sections and then it uses these support ribs that um, give you the overall shape of the horn. So the support ribs bolt into what I call the intermediate plate which is located here and so there's screws that go into the end of these support ribs and so the sealed rear chamber actually bolts on to uh, the horn and so how that goes on is you don't see the bolts from the outside it's a nice clean design so you would actually remove the rear cover and the bolts would be accessible um, underneath this gasket. So the assembly procedure would be that you install the box onto the horn, install the driver, and then install the rear cover. So it leaves it like a nice clean design. Okay, so um, worth noting is that you end up with this um, opening that runs along the corner of the horn in four locations. So this I recommend you um, just putting in um, construction glue to, to support and, and hold these panels together. But the overall shape of the horn is, is dictated by these support ribs. So this is really not structural, it's only just to form uh, an airtight seal at the edges. So the next thing that I'm going to do is look at the um, the next design which is the Neo 8 version. So this is a full bandwidth from 200 Hertz up to 20 kilohertz using the same constant directivity horn flare except the only difference is, is that the the throat is actually narrower and it's specifically suited for the BG Neo 8 or um, and I, I see now Radian offers a planar transducer that looks almost identical to this. So um, the, the beauty of these planar drivers is they're stable down to 200 hertz and so there's no fundamental resonance in the diaphragm that would limit the lower cutoff. The only limit would be the overall power handling. So I've used these in my home theater and they're able to produce quite high SPLs and um, when I played a movie at very unreasonable listing levels. Um, the driver I just felt was warm to the touch and if you actually overpower it then I just found that it was actually starting to compress some of the dynamics and you could hear some distortion. So yeah quite a high performer and the, the beauty of this design is that you get the, the coherent um, wave front so there's not like that two-way or three-way uh, sound where Anyways, the sound is very clear and coherent. So combined with the constant directivity design, you are actually getting full 90 degree uh, coverage pattern um, with this design up to, I'd say, around 10 kilohertz. So that is quite a substantial improvement over the direct radiating counterpart. So section through this design as well so you can just see uh, the construction of this. It's very similar to the 8 inch diameter version and so 
Really, the only difference would be that we're mounting the planar transducer on the outside, and then the wood goes right up against the front face of the of the driver. Okay, so then a little bit different. And then the other thing is we're actually mounting the uh, rear seal chamber with bolts that come in from the outside. So um, this rear seal chamber is a completely glued assembly. Uh, I'll just highlight the assembly. So what you see here is completely glued. The rear chamber does not come off, or the rear cover does not come off on this chamber. So there you have it for that design. And then if you order the flat pack, it will also come with um, the the stand here, so that you can set it a, set it on top of uh, your low frequency base cabinet. So your low frequency base cabinet would have to cover 200 hertz and below. So this is the same dimensions as the other one, 22 inch by 22 inch. It's a it's a large horn, um, but it is meant for audiophile listening or home theater, and it's completely suitable for this application. I would not recommend it for uh, like a pro audio or a live concert type application simply because the sensitivity is around 95 dB sensitivity and then the power handling is only uh, 60 watts per channel so you're not going to get concert levels at concert level SPL um, in a large uh, listening venue out of this particular horn uh, configuration so the next design is the mini version of the Neo 8 so I had some people request a smaller version, more uh, suitable for a domestic listening environment, like a living room. And so this is uh, exactly, um, I'm trying to remember, 25% smaller. Anyways, the, um, the overall dimensions is 16 and a half by 16 and a half for the mouth, where the other one was 22 by 22. And then it's correspondingly shorter in the overall length of the horn. So the, the horn length here is 12 and a quarter long. And then I've made the rear chamber not as deep. And so it's only five inches. So overall uh, size of this horn would be 16 and a half by 16 and a half by 17 and 3 16 long. Okay, so um, these are available on my website. Uh, the, I, if you purchase the plans, then you'll get an email to download. It's a zipped file which includes all three versions in PDF format. And so I'll go to the drawings just to show you what you can expect from the type of drawings that I do. So you can see here, um, it's, you know, a full assembly drawing and then it goes into some of the details. So there's uh, a full 16 sheets or 16 drawings total for this one horn. And so it's, it's detailing out all of the dimensional requirements to construct the horn. So I go through and detail it out. And also the uh, flat pack is available from my website as well. And so you can see it there and uh, you'll get, now the flat packs are quite heavy. Um, it's 52 pounds of wood, uh, Baltic birch plywood uh, for the large version. So just be aware of that for shipping. It gets shipped in two large boxes. So there you have it.